All right, you have no sight. What is your concept of this world? What is it? Asatyam. There is no permanent anything in this world. It's a false thing. It's ever changing. Apratishtam. There is no pratishta for it. There is no substratum for it. No supreme intelligence behind it. Jagat Ahu. They call this world the plurality as an accident. Nothing permanent behind it. It just accidentally happened. And Ishwaram, there is no Ishwara, there is no controller or regulator in the world of plurality. Everything is injustice. Everything is haphazardly happening. Everything is mere chance. If you are rich, lucky. If you are healthy, lucky. If you are unhealthy, unlucky. If you are poor, natural. No intelligence, no cause, effect, or relationship, no logic behind it. It is all injustice. And you can't point out a person who is the injustice, cause for injustice. No cause. Why is it? It is. It is. He are not able to think consistently. Therefore, they have no goal, no purpose, nothing to hold on. Everything is constantly changing. Then what is your explanation of this world? Aparasparasambhutam. This world of plurality is born out of mutual union. Aparasparasambhutam. Born out of the combination. What else? Kama hai to come. All of you are, are they or not, from their standpoint. Pro byproduct of the lust of your parents. This is what he has understood. And when I understand that I am only an unnecessary byproduct of the lust of my parents, I have no self respect. I have no love for my parents. I have no morality or ethics. I need not have any responsibility for the other members of the society. They too are byproducts, which my parents would have avoided if they could. They could not. And in their lust, they produced. This is their concept of the world. When your concept of the world is so low and base, you have no self-respect. When you have no self-respect, you don't expect to stay at a particular moral and ethical beauty in your living. You also live permissiveness. How does it matter? My, my parents produce me and I produce. But who is to look after? It's none of my business. Government will look out. Children are not my responsibility. Then where did he come? That is a byproduct. Think of the low based thoughtlessness. Animals are much better. They have got an instinct of love and attachment to their own little ones. Until they become strong enough to stand upon their own feet and search for their own prey and live on, they are look after the cubs or the chicks. I mean birds and animals, calves, bulls, everyone look after the little ones. It is only Highly developed societies in the world, in those nations, children have no parents, no responsible parents who don't feel in responsibility. And they don't feel ashamed of themselves that I produced four or five and I don't know where they are. Ask any old man, where is your son now? Son? He is there. Uh, I think he is in Michigan. Last I heard from him from Michigan. 
When did you hear? Three years ago. Now is he living? What do I know? He must be there. Think? You don't know. Father doesn't know the children. Children doesn't know the father. The brother doesn't know the sister. Sister doesn't know the parents. Aparas parasambhuda. Born mutual contact. Prompted by the lust. This is a byproduct. This is the explanation or the concept of life. There is nothing sacred, divine, or one that integrates all life. Nothing.